Jacob Wells and Heather Wilson. Sorry, I got to read this. Co-founders, by the way, they're siblings of Give, Send, Go, a crowdfunding site that does not censor freedom of speech, folks. Jacob Wells, Heather Wilson. To be a sponsor yeah. of this Come on event. Now. Thank you for all your donations to help make this happen. We're thankful Gifts and Go was the chosen crowdfunding platform for the event, and we hope you choose it too when you need to fundraise. You know, there, there's a thing that happens at my house is that when if you were to come and visit me, I take out something called my Oculus. Do you guys know what an Oculus? It's like a VR machine. And so it's the fun thing me and my children do. They, they go, Mom, can we bring the Oculus out and let Uncle Jacob use it? And I said, sure. So, so they bring it out, and he puts it on his face, and immediately he's transported into some city. And there's cars whizzing by and birds flying over the head. And he starts looking around, and... And there's an elevator behind him, and, and, and everybody has different reactions. They go in the elevator, press the button. They feel like they're actually going up the elevator. I don't know if you, any of you have done this before. And they get to the top of this building, and they see a plank. And this plank goes out, out across the, the building, out across the street. And all of a sudden, the person there is looking. They can hear the... The plank creaking, they hear the cards, the cards below, and now they need to walk the plank. And over and over again, we laugh because people are like, I can't move. I can't take that first step. And we're standing there going, yeah, but you're in my living room. Like, ignore what you're seeing and hearing. You're in my living room. Take a step. And we have seen grown adults <clears throat> uh, that can't take a step because of what they're seeing and hearing. They're living in fear based on what they're seeing and hearing. As Heather mentioned, that's true. I've been in the living room trying to take a step with these glasses on, and your body is actually responding. You're getting endorphins flooding through your body. There actually is a real reaction, even though what I'm seeing isn't real. The Bible makes a very similar picture about the reality of the world that we live in. It says in Ephesians 6.12, it says, We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, things unseen. There is a, there's a reality beyond what we can see. I think oftentimes we get so pulled into looking into the political, the election happening, all of these natural things that are playing out without realizing that there's actually a deeper reality. You want to talk about deep state? This is the deep state. It is this evil principality place that exists, and we so often ignore it. The reason why... There's such an attack on free speech today is because you can read in the Bible in John 1, the Bible says that God spoke. It is the essence of speaking that brings life. And, and it's the effort to silence speech because, si because speech brings you to life. And that's what the attack is on. And it also reveals truth. And the truth is not some fact. It's not some medical diagnosis. It's none of that. It's actually a person. And his name's Jesus. In John 14, it says, Jesus says, I am the way. I am truth. And I am the life. That's what it's all about. It is about you coming to know this man, truth himself. That's why they want to silence your speech. Because in silencing your speech, you can't come to know truth. You know, even though I do know truth, sometimes we can get still so caught up in what's going around. Has anybody had those types of days, weeks, or months where you're like, God, why are you picking on me? Like, I can handle one thing at a time, but I can't handle ten things at a time. Like, ten big things. My car breaks down. My kid gets kicked out of school. My husband and I are fighting. The Everything is going wrong that goes wrong. And I, I had one of those months, and I'm like, God, or one of those days in a month, and I said, God, why are you picking on me? And I'd love to tell you that I ran to my Bible and, and spent some time in prayer, but instead I started scrolling. And, but, but God spoke to me, because guess what he said? I saw Right in front of me. I'm like, God, why are you picking on me? I look down and it says, I'm not picking on you. I have picked you. All of a sudden, those glasses came off my eyes. 
because I was living in a not reality world of seeing things and hearing things that weren't truth where God is saying, Heather, I put you in these places. These are hard things, but I'm using you. I'm using you in gifts and go. I'm using you with your adopted son. I'm using you in your family. I'm using you in the world. Know that I'm using you and I've picked you. I want to tell everybody here today, God has picked you. He is not picking on you. He has picked you for this moment in time right. to do what he's called you to do. What a powerful state statement. I'm not picking on you. I've picked you. Give, Send, Go is a platform of people that are living out that adventure. They are stepping in, realizing what God has done in their lives, and the adventure that he's called them too, and our challenge to you is take off the glasses and come to truth. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Great stuff.